Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial for the game Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection. So Uncharted is a game series developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony. It has four main games in the series, so Uncharted um, Drake's Fortune, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, and there was also um, Uncharted Lost Legacy, which was some, oh, not really a spin-off, but it had some of the side characters as the main protagonist of that game. Um, and let's see, Uncharted uh, Drake's Fortune, the first one, came out 2007. Um, uh, not Uncharted 2 came out 2009, Uncharted 3 came out 2011, and the last one, Uncharted 4, came out in 2016. What is the Nathan Drake Collection? The Nathan Drake Collection is Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 as a group of games in one collection. It will be available on PlayStation Plus for free starting from the 7th of January 2020 for the month. So the way PlayStation Plus works is as long as you have an active PlayStation Plus subscription, you can play games you've previously redeemed on PlayStation Plus or currently redeem on PlayStation Plus, but you do have to have an active PlayStation Plus account in order to play the games. That's the, the gimmick of PlayStation Plus. Generally though, with the amount of free games that they give out, there's a couple of games they give out a month. Um, after all this time, I've got dozens of games now because of PlayStation Plus, so I would say it's definitely worth it. And there's a lot of the online um, game play of games which require PlayStation Plus to even play anyway. So there's more than one reason to have PlayStation Plus, um, just like Xbox Gold and so on. So um, I do highly recommend these games. Uh, what I would say about Uncharted, it's worth playing them in order because Uncharted games do follow a continuous storyline. They are taking you through twists and turns of different adventures. Like By all means, you can play them in any order you want. But I, I like the development because you have the different characters. You have Nathan Drake, who's the main character, and you see his relationship with a couple of the other characters in the game. But then two of the characters in the game actually get married. So um, if you play it in random order, you might wonder why they're so close in later games and they're not so close in the, in the first games. So, um, yeah. And... Uncharted is a great, great series. Really have enjoyed playing them. I've played through all the Uncharted games. I've absolutely loved them. And yeah, so if you have the opportunity and the chance to get this game and play through it, I would highly recommend it. Fine. Um, Uncharted uh, Drake's Fortune, the first game is on PlayStation 3. It's a little bit glitchy. It's a little bit whatever, but you will have a lot of fun uh, going through it. There's a lot of um, explosive set pieces. So you will basically have a lot of times where you're like running through collapsing buildings and so on. So it's basically like, think of it like Dude Raider um, or whatever, but it really modernized the sort of um, dungeon um, or ancient tomb crawling aspect. It wasn't until after these games that the uh, remakes of Tomb Raider came out. So. Um, Uncharted helped to modernize the genre, let's say. And um, there is great music, great a great score of the game as well. And the good thing with Naughty Dog is that they will actually go out of their way to make sure that games are patched for the current console. So right now all the games are patched for PlayStation 4, but don't be surprised if they then repatch all the games to take advantage as much as possible of PlayStation 5 when it comes along. So um, they do go out of their way to do that. Hopefully they will keep doing it, as simple as that. It's not a guarantee, obviously, I don't work for them, but it seems likely that they're going to want to do that, especially uh, given they are part of the Sony group. Now, um, the thing with games from Sony-owned... Um, well, Sony-run um, publishers uh, or developer studios is that more often than not, Sony will actually delay games to ensure quality. They go for quality rather than quantity. That's the the difference with PlayStation. And it has obviously worked very well because PlayStation has got a massive market share as of recording this video. We'll see um, so in many years from now if that's still the case. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, guys, um, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. That is what is the Nathan Drake collection. Um... Oh, try it out if you haven't played it before check it out i think you guys will potentially like it if you haven't played it already have you heard of uncharted 
This is what the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection is. This is your opportunity to jump into it for minimal pro cost. Like the price of PlayStation Plus for monthly subscription is less than the price of just buying this uh, collection out. So yeah, so like I said, you'll get the first three games, three, I can count, <laughs> and then um, you need to get the, the fourth game and Lost Legacy separately, but um, I'm sh uh, it, I would say it's, de it's definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, guys. So um, anyway, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.